Alright, well, welcome back to uh, another episode of Tales of Magiel. Again, with David Rage Mage from the Embers of Rage campaign. So, I've been thinking a little bit about what I'm going to do with this character at this point, and I'm thinking that we're only going to go for another two episodes, maybe three episodes, with like the Infant Dungeon. For the most part, it's kind of boring for me. And I'm not sure about you, but um, I don't consider that a good thing. Basically, all the mobs are like high level, of course. That's fine. They're allowed to be high level. But it just seems like, you know, I'm fighting against high level monsters until, like, you know, stuff is too tough for me to fight. That's the idea here. We got ourselves to Crypt music again. Let's fire it off right there. That guy's moving away for a moment. That's fine. We'll start going after these dragons. And I got teleported, why not? I love teleporting randomly because of this stupid thing. Die, please. You know, I wouldn't have been happy if there was like some lore, basically, to like, you know, sort of like, um, aim for, like a goal. But there is no lore, so... Everything keeps coming out of the woodwork. There's a river fury. We got ourselves an Alchemist Rare. It's a bandit, apparently. And he's right over there. I'm just gonna fire that in there for now. Yeah, it's kinda annoying I can't really cast my spells here. Well, the golem's dead. I'm just gonna buy my time over here a little bit. There's a new golem, because you know they pop up every so often. There's a shield, I'm not really annoying, but whatever. And our friend's over here. I can't see him, but he's there. Well, I know he's right there. He's got that much health left. He's in an ice block. And he must die. Can we go over here? And now we're gonna like just, you know, 
deal with this guy the uh, the best way I know how. Fire everything, basically. Oh, wow, I'm taking a beating here. And that guy's back, so let's just teleport somewhere. Not exactly the most ideal place to teleport, but whatever, I can just put this on. Basically, I'm just gonna try to get my, you know, mana back a little bit, health back a little bit. Do a nice block for now. Hey, there's a Queen Anne again. I think I already fought her. Though that may have been with a side shot. There's my disruption shield going. Go right there with that. There's the uh, golem coming around for round two. Huh, I didn't know those guys could swap. And why is this guy still alive? Dead now. Okay, where's your alchemist friend? He's over here somewhere because he keeps resurrecting his golem over and over again. Fire it right there. Do that. There he is right there. He's down 64% health, so he is taking a beating, this guy. Now I want to get out of this caustic era because you know it's hurting me a little bit, so let's do that. Go over here. Fire. What the? So... Here's stuff I know, apparently. Okay, never mind. Alright, so yeah, I think what's happening there, he actually used my arcane drone or something to hit me. The bandit, that's kind of annoying. Dropped over there. I break this. There he is. Give my man back up a little bit. Throws him again. Far off a blast of that. There goes his golem again. I'm still hitting this guy. He is walking slowly towards me. Give me 
of li living lightning, apparently. Would you believe it? I finally killed that bandit. So that was a stair garden, honestly, that I just bought. I mean, it is fun, like, going and like, killing these, like, you know, monstrous foes that basically pop up, but... It's basically, like, you know, fighting random, random like, you know, bosses, basically, is what this, like, you know, infinite dungeon is all about at this point. I'm not sure I consider it fun to be fighting random bosses. Just the way down. Get rid of that confuse. I wonder if these guys will eventually go up to like level 100. That'd be interesting. Do that. Do that. Ouch. These blood mixes don't get around. Alright, well, that's level 80 out of the way. Took 50 minutes to go through that, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, found some Sinner Feet. And, like, you know, that's another thing, by the way. My character's more or less, like, equipped out at this point, so... The gear I'm running across doesn't really matter what I run across, it's just, like, gear. Oh, he's part of the Orcs! Gotta watch out for Pride of Yorks. Okay, we got ourselves uniques and all that sort of stuff coming for me. You want invisible? Just uh, hit him with that. Do a little bit of damage like that. I got a case of nice. I think I killed the rare. Let's throw that right there. Well, there's a boss here in Nimacell. It's been a while since seeing him. Drop that in there. Get rid of that crap. Oh, he used Infusion while you're of that, so lucky him. The boss. I keep getting hit by that crap, it's kind of annoying. At least it knows a dragon right here because, like, you know, my ability to basically see dragons. I know he's up there in that direction, so it's far in that direction.
That worked out well. Um. Oh, he's Child Blast. Okay, I thought it was like a circle or something. But nope, just Child Blast. Well, notice they'll teleport somewhere. Oh, there he is up there. We'll fire that off. I resisted the blind light, that's nice. He literally has two sun infusions on him, it's kind of annoying. Of course, some a uh, Samurai Tunneler comes to find me. So he's up there now. That's done. Hey, a massive vampire, or vampire lord. He's got a nice undead posse with him. Fire this in here. Fire that in there. Boink. Here goes the spider. Well, because Haze. Killed him. You know, in many ways, I think the arc base is a little bit overpowered. Ah, here's our unique. He's shield balling guy with some other stuff. Alright, it looks like this guy is. An Archer. Berserker? That might be what he is, an Archer Berserker. Might be. I'm not entirely sure what this guy is. Let's drop that right there in front of him. Far off one of those. Oh, that was painful. He's battle call on me there. Nothing like battle call to make your day. God, he hits hard. He's a berserker, but damn, he hits hard. Away we go. Made to fire him and to learn. That's funny. I eventually go after a floor grind, but I need to like interest in our stuff in the level. Well, he uh, rushed out at me. That's gonna be not, not annoying. Let's do this. I'm going to. Get battle call because that's what he can do. We'll go over here. And we will fire. And we will fire again. And again. Well, he's got a range attack, which is interesting.
I'm not sure who's more dangerous, this guy or that guy. Let's move away. Go over here for now. Wretch. Heal up a little bit. There we go. Oh, here's a Dark Cultist again. We'll take him out, hopefully. Heal up a little bit here. I can't see him, but I know he's around. There he is. Activate disruption. Ow. Oh, there's Bell Call again. Luckily, at least I've got the disruption shield on right now, so that's fine. Over here. Let's drop that right there. I'm just gonna go boom. Act like this. There's this rush. He's allowed to rush. We'll go here. Doink. Dodge that. You're probably gonna die on your own, so let's go after this guy some more. These trees on him. That. Where'd this guy come from? Alright, let's just drop this right there. Kill those guys a little bit. Use Bell Call again. I don't want to be next to him because he could probably hit me really hard in, like, you know, melee, so. Is again. There's this rush. It's nice having mobility. It lets me like be mobile. Use greater weapon focus apparently. Whoops. This ball calls is annoying to say the least. But I also think it's annoying he's got slow motion on. The um, ability lets him like slow down, you know, attacks on himself. Okay, why is he able to rush so much? It's kind of annoying. Alright, this here. For some reason, his health is actually going up. I'm 
He might actually be a boss I can defeat, this guy here. But he's going down slowly, I guess. There goes that. I saw destruction shield on apparently. Is this because I have like a project or something else and like heal up a whole lot or what? Because he keeps healing up a lot. I don't think he does, so. Go here, I'm just gonna fire off this. Guess I should have put the arcane disruption thing down. And of course, use Bell Call. Force points nearby. Alright, let's drop this right here. Fire that off. There we go. Got him down a lot of health again. I like to just get like a bit more damage from that, and then we'll go like that. Do that again. He's unstoppable, so that's it. There we go. Took out that guy. Yeah, that's basically what the, like, you know, the infant dungeon is boiling down to when I, like, enter with, like, this character. Everything's already, like, you know, super powerful. I'm already super powerful. And there's not a whole lot to say. Fire! This thing's getting more and more powerful. Oh, there goes the arcane uh, forces. Do that a little bit. Well, I think I'll kill everything finally. Of course, more guys are coming. Ow, what hit me? Fire that off. How many more guys are on the level? I fake this, I guess. Uh, my disruption shield's went off, gone off for some reason. What will happen? Oh, 
Well, you resurrected this guy. Annoyingly. annoyingly. Power this up, I guess. Oh, there we go. Got through all that stuff. Yeah, pretty much I've got like, you know, almost the entire like nether like, you know, level here. You know, so here here's some thoughts I basically have. I figured that I may want to go to like, you know, the main campaign, the vanilla campaign again, at some point. And I might actually want to try to tinker classes there. See what that'd be like. After you like beat like, you know, the main campaign, I guess, or s some part, part of like, you know, the or campaign. Um, you can basically like unlock tinker classes in like the main campaign, I may want to do that at some point. Who is summoning all this crap? It's not there. An ancient lich! An elder being from, from a now forgotten age, filled and fueled by his hate and rage, to all things things living. It seeks to deprive others of a prize you cannot have. Life. Let's take it on! That's what it really feels like, you know, it's just, just going along. You know, maybe this will be like the last episode for Tales of Magia this month. And I'll have like nothing for tomorrow, I guess. There's a spy room there. There's our ancient, ancient lich friend. Kill him. Well, these guys now see me. Fire! 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 Hey, it's the mentor of the labyrinth. He's in that little mess of stuff. Let's go like that. And I got hit by something that sent me all the way over here. Hello, Minotaur. That didn't blind him, unfortunately. Fire blast of that off. I have to get my disruption shield. Hey, 
Hey, there's a spire dragon. Hello. And of course, because he's a boss, he can like just jut that guy out of the way. Boink. <clears throat> he may be tough, but... He's not really tough enough. There's a demon. Ow. Demon's killing killing my ass here. I don't know why it's moving away like that. Oh, he's got spell feedback on me, that's annoying. That's why I why I failed a spell. This guy's a lot more annoying than I remember him being, but that might be because I'm a spellcaster now, so... Okay, got it. Champion of Uruk is dead. Alright, well... You know, let's just call it quits for this episode, and for this run, I think. I managed to go through to like, you know, max, you know, a few levels of infinite dungeon is more or less capable of this character, but I really don't care to continue. It's not a whole lot to do basically if you're just gonna go in the infinite dungeon for like, you know, random leveling. That's fun and all, but not really what I'm after. Well, there he is. He made it to level 81. I'm happy about that. So yeah, I'm thinking that, you know, make makes sense to go to vanilla, um... The vanilla campaign, basically, and try out one of the secret classes with it, just to see what that'd be like. So, I could go back here to, like, you know, Master of the Aldeation and Senesi. And I have access to, like, all the Tinker classes now, if I want to play, like, all this other stuff here, so... I can make myself, like, an undead, um... Saw Butcher, for example. That could be fun. Who knows? But that's it for now. Take care. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.